Hey guys, April finding NorCal. Today we're at the William B. Eyed Adobe. So this adobe house over here was built by William B. Ide in about 1850. It represents a typical frontier structure of the American period. Ide came to this California spot with his family in 1845 and was the first and only president of the California Republic under the Bear Flag Party proclamation of June 1846. Uh, this is a California registered historic landmark. Let's walk through here and check it out. Little bridge. You can see the adobe right there. Looks like what would be their barn stable area. Over here we have a garden. How cute is this? This is where they grew their their crop. Only crop in here today looks like this rosemary. That's where we just came from the parking lot and we walked right through here to the garden. And here you can see there looks like a stable, maybe for horses, that one and a garage or shed. The stump of a giant tree, which I'm sure gave them awesome <laughs> shade out here. It's super hot. We're up by Red Bluff. I'm suspecting this is the outhouse. <laughs> 1845. No indoor plumbing. I'm thinking that's what it is. It might not be, but we'll pretend it is. So this is made out of adobe brick, all by hand, in the old, old days. This looks like some kind of a house, maybe it's a pump house, possibly. The Sacramento River runs right down here, so I'm thinking they didn't have a problem getting water. Can I see how old this is? This is a California State Park, so the parks people keep it up really well. It's been closed due to COVID, but it's open, so I thought we'd come check it out. This awesome thing, check this out. Some kind of spit cooking pot. It's huge. Metal fire pit metal poles holding it all together how cool is that not sure what they're cooking in there but something we're under this canopy of olive trees which in this area olive trees are everything nice shady spot to do some cooking not really sure what this does but something squishes something kind of squisher. Heavy duty and old timey. Here's the back side of the actual adobe. We got picnic tables out here where you can sit and relax. You can see the river right there, the Sacramento. Let's get a little closer. So this part looks all new, which is good. Keep it, keep it cool. Look at this door. The door appears to be original, old-timey stuff. Check out this hinge. It's 
got a horseshoe upside down, of course, for good luck. It's got the hinge. I believe uh, school kids come out here for field trips sometimes. This thing even had a window. How cool is that for way back? And it looks like it opens. Cool, can't really see anything in there. Yeah, this was his front porch. William B. Hyde. Do you see anything in there? Anyway, there's a storage container from the old days. Old day, old timey Tupperware. So this was this view from the front porch of the river. You can see there's little like mansions across over there where people live now, but for a long time he was probably out here by himself. What a beautiful spot. There's those olive trees. Giant valley oaks. Let's head around the side. Another window. Ooh, cool lantern. See if see anything in there. I don't think so. You got a nice brick fireplace. This place is cool. Ooh, look at this window. It's got that old timey wavy glass again. If I move real slow, maybe you can see the waves in it. Old timey. There's no like bedrooms or anything in there. It seems to be all one room situation. One room show. Two more windows on this side. You can see the the wood in this adobe structure. Back door. Another window. I see a bed in there. Look at the stump, the size of this thing. It's huge. See what's in this one. These windows are kind of foggy. Oh, I know what this is. This is when school kids come. Everybody will come in here and make butter. <laughs> they churn butter. Got some farming implements. Ooh, an old wagon axle, maybe? That's what these look like, wagon axles. Check that out. Super old timey. Wagon axle. We are close to the road. The road is right on the other side of this fence. So you may hear some road noise. This was their own blacksmith shop over here. This is not Adobe. This one's built out of wood. Just a little view of the adobe, the actual adobe. The little wood milling station here next to the blacksmith shop. It's just gorgeous. Look at this view. The beautiful Sacramento River. Now the, the awesome uh, park lady just told me that if we go up this trail, we go to the top, there's something cool up there. So let's do it. Let's climb up this goat trail in my new shoes. <laughs> Super steep. All right, I think she meant this trail. 
Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go up this trail. Supposedly, on top here is something cool. So let's go. There's the road. We are on Adobe Road in Red Bluff. All right, getting up to the top. Well, there's the cool thing, the view. Probably where there horses, maybe sheep, maybe they had a cow hang out in there. Look how they fortified this little creek down here and this massive valley oak tree. You can see they've stacked up rocks all along here to kind of pave it, keep it from eroding away, have a little bridge. This little lesser known park here in Red Bluff, I'd say has just about everything you need to have a fun day. There's water, there's picnic tables, there's barbecuers, there's even a decent bathroom. It's well taken care of, I might add. Look at that oak tree. Alright, let's go down this path over here and see what's going on. It's a little overlook. Lots of berry bushes. I'm sure they had lots of blackberry pies back in the day. Because those are native. This bridge is definitely new. Put here by the Parks Department. California State Parks. Beautiful day on the river. Grape vines. Could have some nice grapes. These trees are humongous down here. Huge burls. Look at this burl. A bunch of them on this tree. It's huge. Yeah, these look like all grapes. All blooming. Like little grapes. Okay, that was a bird. It scared me. Oh. This appears to be a horseshoe pit. Did they play horseshoes in 1848? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, they had horseshoes. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I don't see a post though, but look, there's definitely marks from horseshoes hitting it. Well, I'm thinking that's what that was. Over here is a sketchy little trail. We're not going down there. 
to the river. I had really close river access. To I'm sure they had salmon, striper, sturgeon, whatever they wanted out of here to eat. There's that hill we were on top of up there. You can see the adobe right there. <laughs> 